So in Trinidad, they have an instrument. It's actually, I believe, it's the youngest official instrument in the world, and it's the steel pan. It's made from an oil drum that has been beaten in a particular way to create notes. And because Trinidad came from a time of colonialism and slavery, they had to make instruments, they had to make costumes from what was locally available. Uh, the steel pan is uh, one of those instruments. They also have tambu bamboo, which is um, hollowed out bamboo because drums were banned at one point in Trinidad. So when they were banned, people who wanted to make music had to find other ways. So tambu bamboo was one way where they hollowed out bamboo and they, they, um, they were able to make music. You know, you'd have a collection of people with these tambu bamboo these shoots and they would, they would make music with it. Steel pan is another um, example of that kind of, of, of thought process where you take what's locally available and you make music with it. Then you also have rhythm sections which are basically percussionists who are using tried and tested local items to add to a sound. If you ever get the chance, hop on YouTube, put in either steel pan or steel band or um, rhythm section and you'll get a good example of what it sounds like. Steel pan, rhythm section, I love it. Especially rhythm, rhythm sections during juve morning, there's nothing that, that, that beats it. There's something about the rhythm section that, that really gets me, you know, I, I really enjoy it. I definitely um, recommend being around, taking part, listening to steel pan music during a carnival and the rhythm section. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Carnival Network, on Twitter at CarnivalNet, and check out our website, carnivalnetwork.co.uk.